Okay, what's up, YouTube? Um, this 48, 49% thing, um, definitely getting out of hand. Um, people are running with it as if it just makes one side look bad, but in reality, it makes everybody look bad. Um, and the only reason why I talked about it is because of the underlying behavior. Like I said before, even if it is not at 49%, what makes uh, us as, as a community think that we're not on track to getting there? I can understand if it was something completely outlandish. But the fact that, you know, we actually have a behavior set that could potentially lead to that number being real should be alarming just like global warming a lot of the stats about global warming are falsified and you know they're being identified as being you know falsified but the fact still remains we are on track to get there so if they said that you know the polar ice caps are gonna melt tomorrow okay they made their lying and they're you know trying to uh, 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 cause some sort of unwarranted panic but to be real with you we can eventually get there. Our behavior on a global level will eventually lead there. So when, I, when people talk about global warming, don't be concerned with the numbers, okay? Because the numbers can say whatever. It's more so about the underlying behavior, okay? They can come up with any sort of number about global warming and people will believe it. Why? Because we're doing some pretty foul things when it, in terms of pollution and, you know, using our energy uh, effectively, and responsibly so they're able to hook on propaganda to that so when you look at this 48 49 percent they're able to put it out there as propaganda because they can hook it on to something you know they can say oh look at their music videos look at the number of women who are having children and they're not married then they can hook it to so many different things even though the numbers are uh, outrageous they can hook it to something and there's behavior that one might say, well, you know, if it's not 48, 49 percent, you know, it will be. Right. <clears throat> but no one wants to talk about that. But anyways, let me say this. And, and right now I want to talk to the black men. I applaud a lot of the black men who did not take the whole stat and run it off and say, oh, look, this is the gospel truth. You know, who said, yo, man, this is propaganda. You know how the media is, this, that, and the third. They want to paint the bad picture. I, 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 kudos to that. Right? I give you credit for that. Um, but what I will say is sit back and wait for the new stat that's going to come out about what black men aren't doing or when somebody... Um, regurgitates a stat about black men already know. And let's see how many women jump up and scream propaganda or talk about how things are being overinflated. Right? We can sit here and talk about how, you know, the whole idea of black men going to prison and all those percentages, we can talk about how it's unbiased. You know, we can talk about how those numbers um, are overly done. Okay, we you know we can sit there and we can talk about unemployment. We can talk about job opportunity and about how a lot of those stats um you know aren't necessarily fair in terms of how they're put together. But it doesn't happen, right? When it comes to talking about dating options for black women, the women have no problem in using it. They have no problem talking about men in jail or men who don't have jobs or this, that, and the third. There is no problems. Right? So all of a sudden, the media and the propaganda, that doesn't hold true. Because they can spin it to make themselves look good or to make themselves look like the victim. When it's a stat about black women, okay? Instead of trying to, you know, critique the stat, how do they get those numbers? What's going on? What happens? The women can say, well, it's because of the men. The men aren't doing this. The men aren't doing that. Um, and look, see, you know, ex, you know, Blah, blah, blah percent is in prison, blah, blah, blah percent is in jail. This, that, and third, blah, blah, blah doesn't have a degree. You know, this, that, and third, you know, blah, blah, blah is unemployed. So they can use stats, okay, to spin stats about them, right? And, you know, no one wants to talk about it. So if it's a stat about black men, you know, the women won't go after it because they know they can use it at a later date. You know, it's like their get-out-of-jail card. If somebody comes at them with, oh, well, what's going on with you here? 
well, you know, if you look at the numbers, uh, X amount of Z of black men are in jail, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're either gay, they're on the down low. So they, 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 they can use these stats. All of a sudden, they're legit. You know, they're accurate. No one should question it. And once again, if it's a stat about them, they can spin it. Simple as that. They can spin it. Oh, you know, black women, you guys are up there in terms of uh, out of wedlock like pregnancies. Well, the black man's not in the home. The black man's not doing this, this, that, and the third. And there'll be sympathy. <clears throat> there will be sympathy. Okay? But what makes this whole situation different with the whole 48, 49% thing is that it just can't be spun because of the nature of the stat. The whole idea that it's a STD or whatever you want to call it. Okay? You can, you know, Oprah can say, you know, let's talk about single black mothers. Okay? Or Oprah can say, let's talk about the whole 42% of black women. Um, because they can, she can spin it and they can use stats about black men to do what? Create sympathy. Okay? Not even empathy. Sympathy. So down in America can feel sorry for black women. Okay? Um, any sort of stat, whether they're stats that, you know, show black women in a positive light or a negative light, it can all be spun, right, <clears throat> to further their cause. And once again, all they have to do is go back to stats about black men to reinforce what's going on. Ever notice that? Ever notice how, um... The whole idea uh, of black men being in prison, this, that, and the third, never really comes up unless we're talking about dating issues with black women, right? As if it's not a problem unless we get to dating. But, you know, let me not get off track. So just look at it. But for the first time, okay, there's a stat that just can't be spun because of the nature of it. You know, people will, once again, like I said, will feel sympathy. Oh, she's a single mother struggling. Um, and you know how those black men are, you know, reestablishing the status quo. Oh, you know how those black men are. Let's feel sorry for them. Oh, 42% has never been married. Oh, let's feel sorry for them. You know, you know, look at all those stats. You know, the and these black women who are single, they're telling us that, you know, 18%, 25% this, they're in prison and this, that, and the third. Let's feel sorry. But for the first time, you have a stat that can't be spun, okay? Even if the women were to say, well, you know, black men are hypersexual and, you know, they just, they're cheaters or unfaithful, you know, they, they go to jail, um, as you can see by the numbers, and they're on the down low and they're having homosexual sex, it's still something that's like, uh, yeah, I mean, we feel sorry for you, but we may have to quarantine you, or we may have to, uh, put you off to the side, you know, you, you're kind of unhealthy. It doesn't give off the same vibe. So do you think Oprah or anybody else will, will cover it? No. Not at all. You know, there's, there's another stat that, you know, that's out, that's going under the radar about the whole, the average black woman or whatever being worth $5. Um, you know, how many black women are going to get upset at that, challenge that and get upset, you know, really go after it, crack the whip? Not too many. Why? Because it can be used as a tool to show how they're the victim. Simple as that. They can easily say, well, you know, you, there's a black man being in jail, not having a job, you know, uh, my father abandoned me. So there's, the, there's all these different ways that they can use to show how they're the victim. So they're not going to go after it. And once again, people will feel sorry. Oh my gosh, you know, I didn't know it was so bad for you. You know, let me bring you in. Let me give you this pseudo hug. You know, let, let me sympathize for you. Look at those black men. You know, my beliefs on black men, they just got reaffirmed. Look. So the women know this and they feed into it. So like I said, let's just sit back and watch the next major stat come out about black men um, or black women and see how people go after it. If the stat can be spun to make black women, black women look good, no one's going to say anything, and the stat will be the gospel truth. As if it was written in the Bible. Okay? 
or if it's about black men, you know, the women will keep it in their back pocket for, you know, a, a, a piece of support later on. So whenever something negative comes out about black women, they'll have that stat ready. Okay, so let's just see. Now, a part of me wants to hope now that this comes out, everybody's on some like, you know, we need to go on some crusade and attack all of these stats about black people. But I don't think it's going to happen. So y'all take it easy. God bless.